Wayne Hector here at the uh, Ivan Well Awards, International Achievement. Can you raise it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel? Oh, absolutely amazing. Amazing, amazing. I've wanted one of these for many, many years, you know, and I, I, I've said to a few people tonight, but this is the, this is the one award that I will be, you know, now I've won this, I don't care what else. <laughs> You know, this is the one. You've certainly written enough songs to, to deserve one. I mean, from your repertoire, what, what are the sort of three best songs you think you've written yourself? Oh, I'm not sure, but I, I can tell you the ones that I love at the moment. Yeah. Um, I mean, Flying Without Wings is always there. Uh, you know, it, that was about my wife and Steve's wife. Um, and the things that we wanted out of our lives. Um, I love Don't Be So Hard On Yourself, which I did with Jess Glynn and the boys from TMS. Uh, I love Changing, that I did with Sigma and the boys again from TMS. Um, and uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, there's, <laughs> there's too many. But yeah, what's, what's your secret, man? What's your process? It seems like it's almost easy to do. I just think what, I think my, my um, if there is a secret or a process, it's to enjoy it. You know, as long as you're enjoying yourself, the, 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 the creativity will come. Uh, the times that it hasn't come is usually if, you know, we've met somebody and we haven't quite gotten into that rhythm yet. Uh, and that can change from day to day, you know. Uh, but definitely enjoy it. Don't settle for a song. Wait for the song. You know, a lot of the time I know that people uh, kind of are so eager to get a song finished that they just want to get a song finished and it doesn't necessarily have to be great. Uh, I would rather spend the entire session going over chorus ideas, chorus ideas, chorus ideas. That's the idea. And then we'll come back the next day and write the rest of the song. And that's sort of a light bulb moment. You know when you've got it then. Yeah, yeah. This is it, yeah. finished, time to stop. Yeah, and I know, I know when I love it. And I think that's as much as you can do. You can know when you love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and hopefully, you know, your taste is kind of like every man. Uh, 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 maybe a lot of people share the same taste that I do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Certainly do. Great song. And uh, yeah, I just heard that you're working on early Mars, new, new stuff. Then. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Uh, well, that's great. I, I love him. I love him to bits. He's uh, he's such a nice guy. Five albums in, he's still the same person that he was before. You know. Uh, so we've done some stuff that we really love. Uh, you know, some stuff that hopefully will be singles, and uh, we'll wait and see what happens. Excellent. Anything else you're working on? Uh, yeah, I was working with a, an Irish band called Codaline. Oh yeah, great band. Yeah. So we had an, a, a wonderful three days. Wrote a bunch of stuff that we're all excited about. And, uh, uh, we did seven ideas, four of which felt like that's something you know to get your teeth in. Right. Um, and then we did uh, Sam Henshaw. Yes. Uh, so you know, amazing voice, fantastic performer live. I'd, I'd recommend anybody to go see him. Um, and uh, what else is next? So we did James Blunt recently, so we got together with him in his place in Ibiza. Um, yeah, we're just kind of picking through the year and seeing what else is out there. Fantastic. Well, thanks for your time and congratulations. Thank you very much.